Hey there, Carl G. Larson here, founder of the 27 Days of Rock and Body program and creator of the Get Sexy webinar series. And today I wanted to make a quick video. I just got to ask a question from one of my clients, and it was a really good question. I thought there was a lot of insight in terms of our discussion and what we talked about. And so the question was, they wanted to know how to lose five pounds in the next week. Okay, and so it was interesting that that was their mindset because it was a very specific goal, which was great. Uh, very ambitious goal, five pounds in a week is very ambitious, obviously. And uh, so we had a conversation about that. And really, one of the things that we, we discussed and that we figured out was, you know, why did they want to lose five pounds in seven days? What would that do for them? What type of fulfillment would that create in their life? And come to figure out, it wasn't actually about that at all. They just had an event they were going to in seven days from now. They wanted to look good. They thought if they lost five pounds, they were going to look really good. Through the conversation, they realized losing five pounds would feel good internally, but probably wouldn't even be any type of external, uh, there wouldn't be any type of external gratification. You can't really tell five pounds all that much. Sometimes you can, but a lot of times you can't even tell. So it was an interesting conversation. So we kind of reframed the mindset. And my question was, what would happen if you just took 30 minutes a day and invested it into your wellness? 30 minutes, three, zero, or the other way for you guys, three, however that works. Uh, 30 minutes a day, that's it. And what if 15 of those minutes was to create a healthy meal plan for the day? How are they going to eat? And what were they going to eat? And the other uh, 15 minutes was to do some type of activity. Go on a walk, do some calisthenics, push up, sit up, squats. Maybe they run up and down their stairs for 15 minutes, or maybe they do laps around the local gymnasium. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't, I don't care. 15 minutes of activity. Be active. I said, what would happen if you just did 30 minutes of that every single day for the next seven days instead of focusing on the five-pound weight loss? And so they were like, you know what, that's a good idea, Let, let's try that. And so what was really interesting, what happened was they started that process of just 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes total, and they stuck it for seven days. And it's amazing how difficult sticking to a small discipline can be for just a seven-day time frame. My belief is that anyone can do anything for seven days, but when we get in the nitty-gritty and life's happening and we have routines and our habits and we forget or things come at us from a crazy angle, sometimes it's easy to just throw everything out the window and focus on the whatever just came at us in that moment. But they didn't. They stuck with it and did it for seven days. And at the end of seven days, they said they felt way better. They were sleeping better. They were eating healthier, drinking more water. And the fitness actually loosened up their pants a little bit in seven days. So... What would happen if you took that philosophy and extended it for 30 days? That's it, 30 days. That's it, 30 days of 30 minutes a day. What would happen? You know, I don't know. I don't know what would happen for you. Maybe you would lose five pounds. Maybe you'd lose 15 pounds. Maybe you would lose no weight, but you'd feel way better. But here's my challenge. Here's my, one of my philosophies I want to share. People are always about helping others, right? Helping and giving. And I think that's super noble and that's fantastic. But my question always is, how can you give that which you don't have? So we want to give, but what if we don't feel that good? What if we don't feel that healthy? What if we don't feel amazing every day? What you're giving is like a fraction of who you are, a fraction of what you could give. So if we were really in the spirit of giving and, and contributing to other people, what we would do is we would invest into ourselves more frequently and, and, and really get more strategic about it so we would maximize our potential, our health, our energy, our wellness, so when we did give, it would be 10 times more impactful. What would happen if you gave to yourself just enough to fulfill your cup so you can overflow into others versus trying to give half of a cup full? So think about that. Take a little bit of time. Think about that. And really, how much time would that be for you? Maybe it's not 30 minutes. Maybe it's 15 minutes. Maybe it's an hour. You know, maybe it's more, maybe it's less. But for me, it's about 45 minutes to an hour to get my workout in, to get my meal plan figured out for the day, to do a little meditation, to really get my body engaged and my mind set straight for the day. So that's me. But maybe for you, you can do it in a different amount of time. I would say start with 30 minutes. It'll change your life. Because I've done, I've recommend this, recommended this to lots and lots of people. And the people that have followed through, report nothing but positive results. So anyways, give it a whirl. Uh, hopefully this helped. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of a strategy to invest in yourself so you can give more to others in the future. And with that, I will talk to you soon.